Vecchi's Pier as it was in 1860. Fred Crocker, way back in the 1940s, built the first ski from plans that originated from Australia and were known as the Crook, became known as the Crocker Ski. Hayden Gray improved the design in 1940 with a motor, but others preferred the Crocker. Amongst these were Albie Upton, Tiger Astron, Marcel Coulon, Owen Harmsworth, Len Rogers, Graham Hines and the Schmidt brothers. The improved design of the Crocker Ski became the first ski boat to be launched in South Africa. This is an early type Crocker ski. Since those days, many more anglers utilized the Crocker ski for fishing off Durban's beach front. In 1960, paddle ski fishing took off and a young Durban Corporation apprentice, Ross Hitchens, purchased a second-hand ski, crocker ski, and began making some good catches. Nice rock out there and all the other fish he caught on the boat. The Mulroy twins fishing way out at Alawal Shoal. Wow! And they long paddle back to the, to the beach. They used to fish with no safety equipment and some law and order had to be imposed. New faces appeared, namely Greg Glazer, Tim Jimmon, Alex and Kevin Simone, the Mulroy twins, Wally Watt, Tommy Flanders, Clive Holmes, Bruce Peets, Peter Greenaway and Alan Surf. These are the newer type Crocker skis which were built by various guys. Most of the launches took place between Vetch's Pier and the North Pier and they battled to carry the crocker up and down the sand dunes. On instructions of the port captain, the Durban Paddle Ski Club was formed in 1971 with Tim, Tim Dribben being the first chairman. Land was leased to the club by the port captain and, a mem and members built a clubhouse. Later, club members and the committee made various extensions on to the club, including this lovely veranda. It is only fitting to record our sincere thanks to the chairman, committee and club members for this fantastic club we ended up with including bunkers to store our crocker skis. Dennis Laser became the master builder of crocker skis, fitting them even with a, with a uh, secret hatch. They are still being used to this day and are also known as the Glazer ski. Some guys put their crocker skis on top of their cars or beach buggies and went off to Amsloti where they caught many fish as you can see. There were a lot of fish around those days and they really enjoyed it. Yes, fishing was great in those old days. Um, there must have been the 70s. The blacks used to catch so much you can't believe and uh, what a variety also, some lovely big big ones also. Look at those, not bad, eh? Fantastic. Wow, here we launch here at um, Sloty Beach in those days. And then beaching. Ford Escort there with a paddle ski on top. Les Allen, one of our very able past chairmen. Fast forward to the late 80s and 90s and here's Henry van den Eerville with a lekker big fish on there. Ian Geelink with his nice glazer ski and a lovely catch. And also a nice beaching for a change instead of capsizing. 
Yes, veggies also fished very well those days. Derek Rogers, the last big kudo there. Len Rogers with a lovely big kudo there. He was also a master in catching stump nose on limestone. An excellent all round fisherman. What a gentleman. Nick Clutey, also a past chairman with a very nice catch there. Bruno and Inio who fished together for many, many years. Jock Adams, a regular weekly fisherman at Veggie's Pier, caught this lovely snook. Marcel Coulon, the longest living member of our Durban Paddle Ski Club, with his beautiful big dog of salmon he caught way back when. Johnny and Rob Cornier visited Marcel recently. Marcel is now 91 years old. Alan Glazer being jokingly ticked off by Alan Bagara there. In the old days fishing took place between North Pier and Veggies. The port captain eventually gave us permission to fish from the North Pier to the pier at Sunkist. Rene Ray with a nice catch of snook there. Nearly a wipe out there. And then a couple of actual wipeouts. This one wasn't too spectacular. This one was a little bit worse. But here's a really, really, really big wipeout. What a picture. Early launch of one of the paddle ski fishing competitions. In early 2000, the long fishing paddle ski was introduced and this became very popular owing to its maneuverability in the water. The wreck then, which became a very uh, popular fishing spot for all kinds of fish. This is how the wreck was formed, the grounding of the Ovington way back when. John Ashley with a couple of nice moth grunter there. Spotted Grunter. Catface and Spotted Rockard. And Nasa Shad those days. Other popular spots for fishing was along the shoreline, the back line, and along Vichy's Pier where many snook were caught in those days. Peter Bossy with a nice big fish on there. Also on the back line they caught nice big Garrick using shad for live bait. Another popular spot for fishing was the far reefs where rock art could be caught. Shad we caught at the block and inside limestone and at, on the nets and the wreck. Nine-year-old Gus Kaltenberg with his huge prodigal son. Trawling in deeper water, Cameron Johnson caught his 15-kilogram yellowfin tuna. Moria kindly fed the cats at the club for many, many years and even gave them some fresh fish at times. Yes, the cat really loved him and knew exactly where to get his food. Fishing in the bay was also good at some at times because this nice big grunter. Yes, Johnny Basilaris, a very able retired chairman for the past 20 years or so, kept the club going against all odds and through him and the Save Veggie Spear Committee we now have an excellent alternative to what might have happened. Nice Dorado caught there off the long ski. Dear Robertson with this huge tuna that he caught off the his long ski. Bruno Casanova receiving the Queenfish Trophy in 1995. 
Dennis Schroeder and Bruce Moffat, very active members of our club in those days. Dick Thompson, one of our past able chairmen of the club. Eugene Hulley with his lovely tuna caught off fetches in 2014. Paddle challenge in 2011 and why it was postponed. Eventually, registrations took place for the fishing tournament. Hectic launch at Mishloti Beach. And a few wipeouts. Meanwhile, flat seas and veggies. with the Save Vichy's Beach Committee and volunteers in action. Waymaster <clears throat> waiting for some action for the boats when they return with their fish. Purvos rolls on sale for on the day. Rowan Freeze with his winning snook catch of the day. And Rowan Freeze again, the overall winner of the competition. The developers gave all the clubs notice and an umbrella club was formed, namely the Point Waterfront Club. The developers built a very nice temporary clubhouse which was very well supported as can be seen from the photos. With the completion of the promenade extension and the clubhouses beneath, clubs will be moving in shortly. Except for a couple of hiccups through the water leakage etc, the extension looks very very good. Morio from Durban Paddleski Club in the Point Yacht Club premises downstairs of the promenade and uh, having a look around the Durban Point Paddle Ski Club will be subletting from Point Yacht Club and we wish both Point Yacht Club and Durban Paddle Ski Club everything of the best for the future. Unfortunately with the incessant pumping of sand on Veggie's beach the beach has restored but look at this Moyo's where the pump station for aquarium is is under, all under sand already smothering at least 200 meters of this beautiful uh, veggies where lots of mussels, tons of mussels were there and lots of little fish that people used to snorkel and see. Let's hope that Mother Nature comes to the rescue. Maybe a huge equinox, equinox or something will clear this whole place out. Well, that's it for us. Cheers now. Unfortunately, at the end of this video on a sad note, Kitty Blue Eye, shame, she passed away on the 10th of July with a heart attack. Mario looked after her for 12 years at the club and 2 years at home with him. He's going to sorely miss her.